Don here in Florida, and I'm still fooling around with these uh, band saws that I bought. I'm building up another one right now. Uh, one of the issues I ran into, though, was on the big gear. Uh, I made a modification on my uh, Franken saw over there. I don't know if you all saw that. But I want to build this particular one that I'm building back right now, uh, all original with the original two speed and everything. Problem is, is all these gears that I have are chomped up. If you take a look at this one, the uh, teeth are just all chomped out of it. So that gear right there isn't really worth replacing. I'll just, I'll keep this around. I'll cut that out. I'll probably make another modified saw with the uh, belt interior drive like the last one. But uh, this gear here, it only has spots that are nicked out like this. Uh, these spots here can actually be brazed in and then recut. Now, I don't have a gear cutting mill this uh, size, this small. All my, my uh, gear cutters, my gear hoppers are much larger than uh, this. So I made up this, and you might have seen this if you were uh, following me, this uh, slitting saw, which will allow me to get in and uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll braze in those bad spots and then we'll just recut and just form those to proper shape uh, since it's just little spots that we have to do. Uh, once that's done and this gear's all cleaned up, it should work just fine because most of the gear itself is intact. It's just like these rolling off spots. Matter of fact, if we look at these and run the gear over those spots, you can see that they actually engage and roll away from each other just fine. But having these spots nicked out like that is gonna cause some noise and could create uh, uh, greater issues down the road. So we'll go ahead and, and abrase these in. And then like I said, we'll, we'll set this up on the mill and uh, we'll just recut them like this. So let's go over and start by uh, cleaning th these up. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna grind these back past the root uh, before we start brazing. So let's go do that. So what we'll do is we'll take this Dremel tool. This is a diamond bit on here and we're just gonna cut that back. Okay, so you can see we're going actually we're right down into the cast iron here. So we're we're creating a nice root for that uh, new tooth to sit into. So let's keep on doing this until we're done. Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five spots that we're going to have to braze up. So let's go get set up for brazing. All right, let's see what we can do here.
Okay, so I, I slightly overbuilt everything and we'll, we'll turn that back down. Uh, next stop will be the lathe. We're gonna bring all these down flat and flush and then uh, clean up these edges right here. And then we'll uh, go to the fill. Okay, so we're all set up here. I put a bull nose in here just for uh, safety and I had to reconfigure here so we could get onto this. We're gonna go ahead and, and uh, clean up the edge here first and then we'll come across and, and uh, try to get that. So, see how this goes. edges up real nice. I think I could have brought that up just a little bit more on that one. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, start right there. Okay, that's, that's as far back as she's coming. Right. So we'll go real slow on this. Okay, so we just started skimming the top of those teeth right there. I'm gonna clean this up with a file because there's a lot of rough stuff around the edges here um, from those teeth ganashing when they were uh, torqued up there in the machine. There we go, much nicer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take it and set it up in the mill now. Okay, so I just spent the last 20 minutes setting this up so that we could cut this gear tooth out. The blade, when this is all, the blade when this is brought around and centered, will cut right down between the two teeth as we come through here, through each uh, area that's uh, brazed in. And it's not as wide, it, it doesn't act like a hobber. It doesn't actually cut back to the tooth, but it's gonna take about 90% of the material out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll follow behind with a, a small file using the rest of the uh, tooth that's still solid as a guide just to file it into place. And it, it sounds low budget, but it works. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna go with it since I don't have the actual proper tool for this. And and uh, I think in the end we'll have a uh, suitable uh, gear tooth. So let's go ahead and, and get this going. Okay, so we're gonna bring it up into the, we're gonna bring it up to the middle of this tooth here and make sure this locks, it doesn't move. And this is just to get our depth. Let's get our DRO turned on. All right. And getting it straight this way across the tooth, I just eyeballed that in because even if it isn't perfect, like I said, it's not actually coming out uh, to the tooth. But from my view, it looks pretty close to perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this in, the blade until we just start to make contact with the root area. I just wanna hear it ding off of there. There we go, right there. And I'm gonna lock the Y-axis. Okay. 
Now we should be able to back out. Okay. I'm going to shut it off here for a second. I'm going to loosen this and bring it around to the first tooth we want to do. That should be this one right here. Bring it up, make sure I'm centered on it. That should just about do it right there. And then we will lock the dividing head here. And let's take our first pass and see what happens. So I'm going to start it in by hand just to see. Okay, looks good. Back it up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, and then, okay, so we got that cut out nice. Actually, there's some braise in that previous one. We're gonna turn that back and take that one out too. I didn't realize there was that much braise in there. Okay. down to the next one and lock it And what I didn't mention is if you can't actually see the gear tooth, the separation between each one is approximately 2.9 degrees. So you can look right on here and measure out about almost three degrees and then you'll be, you know, centered up enough to where it needs to be. So I can, I can simply just loosen this and turn this uh, one, two point, Mm, just shy of three degrees right there and, and that you can see it's centered right up on there so I think that's a, a good way to do it if you're not working with huge amounts of accuracy
Okay, so that was the last one. We're gonna run over and uh, start filing that. Okay, nothing fancy here. We're just gonna get a small file and we're following the tooth like this. And we're just gonna take this brass out until we have the contour of the tooth. And the nice thing about this is you can actually hear it catching on the tooth, the cast iron, and you know that you've taken out enough brass. <sighs> try to stay at the same angle as the tooth. I know there's not a lot of angle on these teeth, but uh, you want to try, and try to stay on the same angle as the tooth. Wow, I came full circle on that already and didn't even realize that that didn't take any time at all. So, there we go. Okay, let's just get a quick look at that. Uh, while I'm in the middle of filing, you can see that the uh, brass just filled in wherever there was no tooth. And then when we recut it, it uh, left a tooth. So the lathe took off all the excess and then the mill just took that out what I needed and then the file is just cleaning it up so and you can see these teeth here were, were pretty chewing away because it's mostly brass there now so this one here a lot less so anyway let's go get those finished up all right last thing I'm gonna do is take out any uh, little nicks and burrs from this gear this gears had a rough life so I want to make sure it's going to run smooth. Guess that's about it. That's all she needs. Okay, I've just been sitting here running this gear over the gearbox here just to double check mesh and engagement and it's it's spot on. It's right there. So uh, you can do a lot by eye, and uh, brass uh, files out real nice and easy. If anything, you got to be careful that you don't take too much brass out when you're filing, otherwise you end up with basically a thin gear tooth, which you don't want either. So I guess that's just about going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you next week from Florida. Don out.